Hello YouTubers, um, so welcome back to my channel. Um, so um, apologies again for the lack of YouTube um, uploads recently. This has been due to a variety of issues. It finally has been sorted out, um, one of the major ones being um, I didn't actually have a proper internet connection, but I do now, so how are? So I only managed to upload two um, videos, I think, last month in the end, but um, hopefully now um, we're back to um, full speed. And the first one I'm going to um, unbox this month, the first video that I'm going to do this month is unboxing of um, December's. Um, Hooker Box. I think it's December's. I can't. Yeah, I think it's December's because it was the end of December this came. Um, I wasn't around at the time because um, I was um, at my family for Christmas. Um, so here it is. It um, doesn't have its usual sort of pretty box, so perhaps there's something that was what went wrong with the uh, production or something this month. But anyway, here it goes. So um, you have two flavours of this particular subscription. You can have a slightly cheaper one, which is £19.99 a month, or this one, which is £35 a month. And it's all about it's all about all things sugar. So cosy stuff and like um, you know fireside games, all that kind of thing. So this one, this month is apparently um, dedicated to winter me time. So, um, here's the um, cheat sheet as it were, so I'm, I'm going to show you what's in this box and um, here's it, really. So the first thing I see is this, it says perfectionism is just fear in the mink coat and fur boots, which is an interesting quote, I've not seen that quote before, but yeah, it's kind of cool, so you can stick it on your wall if you feel so inclined. So this is a £35 a month one, I may have mentioned that already but if I haven't, this is the same. The, um, the, the 1999 one, you do get um, very similar but not, very similar sort of contents but not quite so many, you see what I mean. Sometimes it's different brands as well I think, but anyway. Next thing I'm going to show you is this, it's a coffee, it's a smooth vanilla coffee by a company called Chavisano or something. It's a luxury independent husband and wife husband and wife team making some of the most delicious coffee um, Sally's ever tasted and she drinks a lot of it so do I actually. We choose this delicious smooth vanilla blend. It's made from rich flint with French vanilla which harmonises with the coffee beautifully. Um, I will definitely look forward to that when I look smell. Um, it should be really nice. I do like my coffee. I have like a, a subscription to packed coffee um, every month and I always enjoy getting different types of coffee from subscription bo boxes as well. That smells really good and very rich so um, yeah definitely look forward to that. It's a ground coffee so you can just stick it in a cafeteria or whatever. Next thing I'm going to show you is this. I don't like these very much, so I'm going to have to give these to somebody else. This is Italian bis biscotto Italian biscuit. Um, I mean, it's a nice, it's a, it's a nice thing. Yeah, crispy Italian biscuit with almonds. I actually don't like these. Um, however, it's still a very nice gift, and I shall definitely find somebody to um, give that to. So that's pretty good. Apparently it's an extra treat to complement the coffee, it's very nice of them. Next thing we have is an interesting thing here, goat's milk and sheer butter soap. Now I've not heard of that one before, so that could be interesting. There's a very nice pretty um, picture of a goat on the side there. Um, I mean, I will say, and I've said this on previous videos, that um, I do wish these subscription boxes wouldn't send soap. Because, um, you know, people are so tend to use it now. However, it actually smells really nice. Um, and um, 
it does it 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 very citrusy. And um, apparently the goat on here is called Casper, so that's really cute. I don't know if you can see that. This is Casper, it says on there, but there you go. So, yeah, I like the smell of that soap. So that's quite cool. Apparently it's from a company called Laughing Bird Soap, handmade with love from in Wales by Helen and her independent goat, goat farm. That's really cool. And then they also have hives of bees, whose honey and bees wrap adds richness to their products. So, um, yeah, I shall, um, I will look forward to using that in time. That sounds good. Next thing I'm going to show you is this, which is a scented candle. Um, apparently it has a burn time of 25 hours. It smells really nice actually. I don't know um, if it says anything. Does it say my Oh, here we go. Bee Fairer Honey Lily Candle. It's a really nice, I love the smell of this candle. It's really cute. Let's see if I can take it out the box for you. So in it, it's in its own little um, glass holder there. And look, it's got such a cute little um, thingy on the side as well, on both sides of the glass. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm definitely going to look forward to um, using that. I love scented candles. They're really cool. Yeah, apparently it's made from 100% pure plant wax, hand poured and burns for 25 hours. It also comes in a, in a gorgeous recycled glass jar with a hand-drawn hand bee motif. Um, it's it's a really nice um, looking um, candle, so definitely look forward to that. So just got a couple of other things in here. First one is a rather nice looking milk chocolate bar from a company called Ocean Creed. Um, Yarmouth it says on here so 17, 37% milk chocolate and um, they said that they tasted this chocolate bar and fell in love with it not only the way it melts in your mouth and you get a truly natural milk chocolate flavour but also the story behind it Ocean Creed chocolate started out with three simple questions where does our food come from how does it get here and who makes it well, let's see Apparently they set out to create a bar of chocolate that was sustainable and the cocoa is the only exotic ingredient in the bar and then they ship it by three man sailboat rather than tank or plane, plane rather. The Swiss milk added is from grass fed cows and the sugar added is locally produced. So, um, yeah that's, um, that's really nice. Uh, yeah, it actually says in the thing, it says milk chocolate made of cocoa beans shipped by sailboat. Taste adventure. I'm sorry that my uh, thing again is failing miserably, but there you go. How cute. So I'm looking forward to that. That's really good. And the last thing is the little book of inspiration. Uh, it says here, this little book be your mind's companion throughout January. Feed and nourish your mind with inspiring ideas. This gorgeous book has some fantastic tips and quotations that will uplift you on the darkest days and help you to feel inspired while getting, oh, I'm sorry, while getting the most out of every day. So um, I'm guessing it's little books of um, quotes and yeah, sort of things like that, for example, why is a bucket list? You see that little quote there, and break out, break from the ordinary. A couple of other quotes here. These things are always kind of cute, like things to, and, and stuff to flick through every now and again when you feel like you need a bit of inspiration. So I really like that. That's a cool book. So this is, I believe, it's December. So I get a bit mixed up with these um, figure boxes. 
but it, I'm sure this is December's box rather than January's because it came at the end of December. And just to um, recap, we had a little book of inspiration. We had a rather in, very, rather fine looking chocolate bar. We have the Italian biscuits. We have this rather wonderful looking candle. We have um, this really lovely smelling um, soft, um, smooth vanilla coffee. And we have the um, shape bar. So um, this is a really nice box. And I think um, you know, they're basically saying this is a fresh start. But remember January is like still winter time. So we still need to um, um, look after ourselves and get all snuggly in that because it is winter time. So um, is there anything else that they say on here that I should tell you about? Yeah, it says, um, whilst we indulge in a newfound optimism and a fresh start to the year of course, we must remember January is still winter. We should take time to recognise the short days and the darkness that still surrounds us. January is perfect time to hold off on those new plans, forget the new year resolutions and take time to nurture ourselves ready for the dawn of spring. Taking time to appreciate the things that we love, the people sharing our lives and the comfort of continuality. Which probably um, reflects what's in the box this month. So, um, hope you enjoyed um, me unboxing this video. In unboxing this video, we're talking about this unboxing video, and um, ooh. yeah, hope you enjoy this unboxing video. Um, please do um, send comments and feedback below. Tell me what you think of um, like this um, month's sugar box, and I'll be back shortly um, with um, yet another unboxing video. Oh dear, and um, bye for now.